Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to another SPSS video. But this one won't be a normal one. No, today we're going to take a look at how you can convert an uh, SPSS table to an actual <coughs> to an actual APA table. And we're going to do this in Word. So today we're going to work with a data set which has five variables. Age, income, education, the, your uh, type of culture and the uh, amount of participation in that culture. And we're going to make a correlation table out of this and take a look at how we can make that core, how we can turn that correlation table into an APA proof table, which you can use in your research pro projects. So we're going to go to analyze, correlate, bivariate. Then you select the five or however many variables you have, uh, variables. And at options, you select means and standard deviations. That's important. Then you press paste. Then you go to your syntax screen, you select the code and press the big green play button. And then you get two tables, one with the descriptive statistics with the means and the standard deviations. We need those and one table with the correlations. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the correlations table and we're going to paste it in, a, uh, we're going to paste it in, uh, we're going to paste it uh, in our Word document. And as you can see, this is totally not what an APA table should look like, obviously. So what we're going to do today is make one ourselves with the data which is described above. And so the first thing we need to do is we're going to make a table. But we need to know how many columns we need and how many rows we need. If we're first going to take a look at the rows, we're going to need a row for the title of the correlation table. We're going to need a row for uh, the variables then we're gonna need the for the uh, then we're gonna need a row for each of the five variables uh variable names then we're gonna need uh for the five variables themselves we need in a row for each one of them and we're gonna need one for the node so the total rows total rows is gonna be eight and in terms of the columns, we're going to need one for the variable names, then one for the means, one for the standard deviations, and then five for the variables themselves. So total, co total columns will be eight. And as you can see, the total rows and the total columns is the same in this case. So, uh, okay, so we're going to go to the next page and select insert and then table and then an eight by eight table. And the first cell is going to be the title, which is going to be cor correlation table. Then the second cell is going to be the variable names of the variables. And then the next five variables are gonna, the next five cells are gonna be the variable names. So in this case, but we don't want it to skip like that. Stop automatically creating a list. Yes. One is gonna be, uh, age. Two is gonna be, uh, income. I think, uh, yes, income, education, culture. Uh, three is gonna be, in, uh, it's gonna be, uh, education. Four is going to be income. Uh, is going to be culture. And five is going to be is going to be uh, uh, participation in culture. Participation. And then the last cell is going to be the note. So note. And it's going to be uh, that uh, one star p is, means p lower than 0.05. And double, uh, uh, double star means B is going to be lower than 0.01. And you need to put these in italics. Yes, excellent. Okay, then for the rows, uh, for the columns, I mean, the first one is going to be called mean. Oh, not in this cell. In the variable names, uh, it's going to be mean, standard, deviation, and then one, two, three, four, five. And you don't need to actually copy the names again 
simply writing the numbers is enough in this case. Okay, so the correlation of variable one to variable one is of course not important because it's going to be one. The same for the correlation between two and two, the correlation between three and three, the correlation between four and four, and the correlation between five and five. Okay, so next up we're going to insert all the numbers. We're going to start off with the means. You're going to select it to two decimals. This is important, 20, if you round, if you round it off. Now we're going to add the significance, uh, uh, the significance stars. So one star if the significance is below 0.05 and two stars if it's below 0.01. So the first uh, uh, correlation, this one is of course not significant at all. Uh, the one below that is not significant at all either. The third one is going to be uh, 0.17, yes, has two stars. And the one below that, the 105, has two stars as well. Then the row next to that has uh, uh, two stars as well, two stars and two stars. And then the column next to that has... Uh, two stars and two stars. And the last one has two stars as well. Okay, so that's actually quite easy. They have a lot of, lot of really low significance levels. Uh, so that makes it a bit easier for us to work with. Um, okay, so this is now all the information filled in, but the, uh, the Word document looks absolutely crap. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is make sure that it's all in the right uh, in the right, uh, uh, in the right, uh, word, uh, letter type. And it needs to be times, uh, times new Roman to L and then 12. So times new Roman and then 12. Like this. Okay. What we're then gonna do is merge the top lines. So we're gonna select these, uh, select the top cells. And then go to design, no layout, uh, layout, no uh, references, main review, help, table design. And then uh, layout, and then merge cells over there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then the same for the bottom one. We're going to select these ones and select uh, all the bottom cells and then merge cells. So it looks something like this. And it already starts to look a tiny bit better. Uh, we want to make this one... Uh, can we not do that? Just a bit bigger. Yes. Okay. That looks way, way better. Um, and then we're going to make sure that the APA almost has no borders at all. So we're going to select the whole thing. And then we're going to go to table design. And we're uh, uh, borders. We're going to select no borders to start with. And now it's already starting to look a little bit more like... Uh, now it's already starting to look a little bit more like APA. Then up next, we're going to select the second row. We're going to select the second, hello. We're going to select the second row. And that one we're going to give top borders and, uh, top borders and bottom borders. Top borders, uh, bottom borders, bottom borders. And we're going to give the last row so the node, we're going to give top borders as well. So it looks like this. Okay, uh, we're almost there. What we're then going to do is select with the right, uh, with your uh, right mouse button. And we're going to go to border style, out of it, and then out of it to contents. And here you have it. Uh, wait, I'm going to check if we need any more italics. Uh, or that I forgot to use italics. Uh, sample correlation table. Yes, the, uh, the M and the SD should be in italics as well. Um, yes, so we're going to go back to our word table. Yes, and then replace standard deviation, replace those with an italics SD and replace mean with an italics M. Okay. So this is how you create an APA, uh, this is how you create an APA correlations table. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. 
if you want to uh, uh, if you want to see more videos it would be really helpful for me i want to make BuzzPSS grow as much as possible so if this video was helpful to you then please leave a subscription it would mean the world to me and for now i'll see you guys in the next episode ciao